the K family. Come and vibe with me. Join the K family. Come and rock with me. Join the K family. Come and join our team. Join the K family. Don't know what you might see at the K family. Guys, we have horrible news. Cheech has jumped out of his tank and I'm trying to find him everywhere. Guys, we finally found Cheech and I found him across the room, which is really crazy. We are adjusting him to the water here. Let me show y'all. He ha he obviously hasn't been in the water for like three days. Three days. He's yeah, poor baby. Look at him, he's like, yes, finally. He feels so refreshed now. He's so dry. Has so much lint all over him. Not looking too, too bad. Like his eyes aren't, aren't, he aren't swollen. He can swim. Direction. Yeah, he can see. He has a team in here. He don't even know. He don't even know. You see the snappers over there? Yep. <laughs> There's still a couple food in there. I don't know if he's going to go for it, but he's probably just like thankful for the water. So we'll take a good look at him. See, look, guys, okay. his eyes are okay. Claws all intact. Tail is tail is still out. Looking fine. Nothing wrong. Head's there. still out. He didn't even like. Still got all four of his claws. Yeah. Show show the camera. Still yeah. all four claws, you know. All four. Let's go. He's never been in any body in the water before. Bye bye. I'm assuming he went. He went inside the water. Duh. So guys, there you have it. We found Cheech. Obviously, we have learned from our mistake, our stupid, stupid mistake. Um, and now they are very secure. Obviously, in this big, huge tank, and they have no way of getting out in here, and they're safe. What is up, peoples? What is going on? Got my guy over here, Christopher. My hands are dirty. What's going on, people? We are going to update these guys, our geckos, our three geckos. One, two, three. And we are going to give them a better enclosure because we have come to the understanding that it is easier to pick up their poops on tile. So. <laughs> What we're going to do is, and also if you drop in some, you know, bugs, it's easier for them to get to the bugs when there's a flat surface as opposed to these little twigs. And now there's impaction, and which is them swallowing one of those little pieces. You don't want that happening. I just thought, why not show it on camera? Because we want to keep you guys updated on everything that happens here. Obviously, there's a lot that happens, and sometimes I've I don't record everything. But we are gonna keep you know showing you guys the progress of things as we go. Let's get into these gecko enclosures, and yeah. Hello, look at Dottie. She probably thinks she's getting fed. She came right outside. Look at her. What are you here for? What are you coming here for? I don't have anything in my hands. You're supposed to be asleep, girl. What are you doing? Daddy's just all up on me. Well, I am gonna grab you, so get ready for that. She's a biter, guys. She doesn't like being grabbed. None of these guys do, to be honest. This guy almost freaking pooped on me. Ew, you nasty. Chris is currently washing the tiles. So you have to make sure. Hey, Lou. You have to make sure you rinse them off. Hey. Doing the salsa dance right now. Rinse them. You rinse them? Oh, okay. Yeah. We're going to wait to wipe these guys down, most likely with the reptile cleaner. Guys, we did a little bit of work, and you can see Dottie was. Uh, we were trying to get all the substrate out, but we forgot that we previously were using this for something else, and we put great stuff in dirt and so she was catching a grip of this and climbing out and you if you guys know leopard geckos you know they're fast as hell so we had to settle for this look but it still looks pretty good but this one right here look at this one beautiful and 
Uh, you can see this is Olive. Hopefully she comes closer to this side, but I really like this clean look. We'll be able to see where the, the bugs go when we let them in there. Digging this clean look. Looks fire. Look at her. Her came with her. What the heck? What are you doing, girl? Are you basking? Oh, wow. You're doing what the, um, what the bearded dragons do? You're basking, girl? You taking it with that sun? I got him in here. Get back to business and we're done oh wow you can look inside of him oh wow you can see their enclosures are looking way cleaner that's our update for our geckos what is up cam fam look at him he's so hot he's so feisty stop it stop it he's up. He, he, he keeps poking his tongue at the camera look I hate the focus. Hey man, stop. What you got there, fruit? <laughs> we built some foundations for these grow tents and on each one we have one, two, and then three on the bottom and same thing on this side. Um, yeah, so he almost bit you. <laughs> That's their spike, guys. He's darkened up like really dark right now because he's trying to absorb as much heat as possible. Yep. Because That's we had to turn off the heat for a little bit. To normal get this. behavior. Right. Because Obviously we have some motion going, around, yeah. but I feel like that's why he's a little cranky. He's like, yeah. it's warm and then it got cold and then right. it's warm again. He don't like that. You know, he's very timid. We take our time with this guy because he has an attitude. <laughs> Here's the babies. Some progress. They got heat and UV. Yep. Getting bigger by the day. Look at her. That's princess. Right? Yeah. No. No, Yoshi. this is Yoshi. This is I see the purples. That's Yoshi. Yoshi got purples. All right, guys. We're finally gonna let her loose in her enclosure. This is Princess. Um, we gotta take this tub out. Go on. Yeah, on, girl. Free room to roam. She's probably gonna be a little overwhelmed at first, but. Yeah. So now let's start introducing some of the hides from the other ones. So right, right. Start, you know, making steady reintroduction because they know each other. They're sisters. Yeah. Make it to where this can be like a nice basking area. They have multiple spots, so they shouldn't. Fight. Yeah. You see how small she is, guys. You see her size. She's not that big, so she has plenty of space here. You know what I mean? If she wants to come over here, cool down, come on this spot. She want to get some sun, she come on this spot. So she has plenty of space to roam around and it's dope. Show yourself, princess. We're adding some of the highs that were in Yoshi's uh, enclosure, or her tub rather. And she had this branch, so I'm gonna put justice here. I don't know if you guys know, but uh, in the wild, bearded dragons uh, usually perch on uh, branches that are on the ground. They don't usually like being up so high. We got her uh, con little concrete thing that she had, plank that she had in her tub as well. She still is a little bit shook. She don't know what the hell going on. That noise that you hear is actually spiked right next door. <laughs> I'm going to show you this other hide that Chris found that is actually really, really cool. It has holes on it, so if they want to be like under the heat but not directly, they can just get right under here. And plus, we can see them since they're so small. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Come on, they both get heat. <sighs> now it's time to just grab Yoshi, right? Yeah. Grab Yoshi and yeah. her towel. Luna, what are you doing? I see stuff hanging from you. Guilty. Out, Guilty. In the house, Luna. Go. Go. Oh. In the house. She knows better. Yep. She's being a little flighty, but we got her now. Do you remember your sister? Do you remember your sister, girl? You ready? So this will be their home for yeah. now. She's so confused. <laughs> She's so confused. Yoshi is a lot bigger than Princess, significantly. 
It's always been like that. We're probably not going to react until we leave. If anything, we'll show from this little window right here. We have, that's the cool thing about these grow tents, guys. They get to feel the private feeling that they get in the wild so they don't have like humans just staring at them like an exhibit. I think they, they like their privacy. But if you want to check in on them, just look right in the window. We put uh, Yoshi by the basking spot. We're gonna put Princess as well. Let me grab her. Just like that. Yeah, you can show the, the difference between her patterns and hers. You see her, she's more orange. Very, very orange, and she has yellows here. She has more of like, maybe like, I don't know, like, it's like her yellows are more yellow. Hers are more like orange yellow, if that makes sense. Right. right? Yeah. yeah, and then purples even. Right. I can't wait to see the differences between them as they grow. I forgot, bearded dragons do change. As they grow. As they grow. I don't know what's gonna happen with them, but I'm excited. Because that, that's a real thing. But anyway, we have them set up here. As you can see, they are comfortable. You know, they'll, they'll be secure here. And yeah, later on today or tomorrow, we will be getting uh, the gecko. Another beta dragon, an adult, and uh, I can't, I'm just excited. I just want you guys to see. Let them get acquainted. Yeah. Uh, well, reacquainted. Right. But let's, ha let's let them have some privacy. Look at the size of the tent. Meantime. For the two <laughs> tiny ones. But you still have this pretty large window. But you can still absolutely you can monitor what's going on. Exactly. So and they have what? Happening. Privacy. Ow. Ow. We're gonna put her over here, right next to Bowser. Hi, brother. Her brother. They won't be able to see each other because her enclosure is painted over here. Now I can put her back down. So uh, obviously he's gonna bring in the other lamps to put in here. Obviously she was the one bullying, had to be bullying her because Princess was just, she was terrified. <laughs> she was all fidgety and like, she was shook, right? She was nervous. Yeah, really nervous. So yeah, we can't have that. We, we're gonna make sure that they're comfortable and yeah, slight change of plans. <laughs> Stick with us, guys. 